All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I just woke up and in my feed, I saw a video of Paul Williams from Blogging Theology that states Germany hostility towards Muslims is widespread. So if you guys have been following this channel, you know that my parents are from Northern Macedonia. However, I grew up in Germany and therefore, yes, I have a long history with Muslims in Germany myself. One of the reasons why I never looked into Islam in my 20s is because I had negative experiences with so-called Muslims in Germany. Many of those people were involved in all kinds of criminal activities such as drug dealing, prostitution and whatnot. Therefore, I got a tainted image of Islam in Germany. And therefore, yes, I can understand that plenty of Germans are hostile towards Islam because they associate Islam with those people. All right, guys, but with no further ado, let's have a look. In Germany, hostility towards Muslims is widespread. Uh, that's not my personal opinion, uh, by the way, but the findings of a significant new report it's my personal on opinion. Islamophobia it's true. in Germany. As reported in the German news agency's uh, website, uh, Deutsche Welle, this is uh, a Deutsche Welle. Uh, uh, news agency, basically DW for short, and I'll link to it in the description below. And they ask um, the very interesting question, how great is the resentment, racism and discrimination against Germany's... I basically grew up with those signs. Those are signs from a right-wing political party and they were hanging all over my city. And guess what? Back in the day, I agreed with them. I didn't want to see those mosques in my city. Even though I'm not ethnically German, however, I agreed with this because in Northern Macedonia, where my parents are from, I saw the rise of Islam as well. Which is not correct, of course. It wasn't the rise of Islam in the city where my parents are from. Originally, it was populated by predominant Macedonian Slavs. However, in time we had a population growth by the Albanians and the Albanians were Muslims. And therefore I saw Islam as a nationalistic takeover. I saw it as an occupation. I didn't even think about the religion whatsoever. I simply saw mosques everywhere and I thought those Albanians, the bad, bad Albanians, are taking over our country. And the same thing I didn't want to happen in Germany. Because in Germany I thought the Turks will conquer Germany, they will take over and build their mosques everywhere. So therefore the hate against Islam is not even an accurate description of the situation. It's much more the Germans being afraid of losing their culture. How great is the resentment, racism and discrimination against Germany's 5.5 million Muslims? The Federal Interior Ministry's findings paint a bleak picture, it says. Now I want to read some paragraphs uh, from this article in DW. But listening to this article, this sounds like divide and conquer tactics to me. Take two groups and play them against each other. I would make the claim that the majority of Germans has no issue with foreigners. However, most of Germans will have an issue with foreigners that misbehave, with foreigners that are involved in criminality, with foreigners that are attacking Germans, dealing drugs, etc., etc., you name it, obviously. However, yet again, this is not about Islam. It is about mass immigration of people that are not qualified for any particular jobs. They are at a fighting age. They are male and then they're migrating to Germany and they're living off the state. And those people then come from Muslim countries and therefore they're giving Islam a bad rep. I say I'll link in the which is a great link sin and make some opinion. comments as well. And the article says a hostile attitude towards Muslims is widespread in large sections of German society. Its manifestations are an everyday reality. This is very damning stuff. Okay. One in two people oh. in Germany agrees with anti-Muslim statements. Now, the article doesn't give any examples of anti-Muslim statements, so we don't <laughs> actually know what they might be. And um, there's a report that's been published just a few days ago by the, quote, independent expert panel on hostility against Muslims. The independent Muslims. experts. Um, this is a 400-page <laughs> Objective report, information. Huge report um, that's just been published that the article is based on. And the, um, the report actually gives a very interesting definition of Islamophobia, okay. uh, which I'm Let's going to share with you now. It is, quote, the attribution of sweeping, largely unchangeable, backward and threatening characteristics to Muslims and people perceived as Muslim. In this way, consciously or unconsciously, a foreignness, even hostility is constructed 
which leads to multi-layered social exclusion and discrimination processes up to and including okay. the use of violence end quote as a very strong and robust definition of islamophobia uh, yeah to sum up this definition muslims bad muslims barbarians there in the That's report what it is, right? and the, uh, the article says since 2017 um is explicitly islamophobic crimes have been recorded separately in crime stats and since then uh, 700 to a thousand cases of insults incitement and threats damage to property and dangerous bodily harm have been recorded each year in germany the report further yeah we have to be very very careful with articles like this are they truly defending islam here or are they dividing and conquering as i said islamophobia islamophobia those are great terms here however the question is of course what does it truly mean are we talking about theological scholars christians pastors priests fighting against the muslims defending theological arguments no of course not we're talking about people that have a problem with certain foreigners and if we're talking about people that attacked Muslims violently then we're talking about a particular group of people because the majority of Germans is not going out on the streets and is violently attacking Muslims therefore I have to say yet again that it is highly unlikely that those people have any type of education on Islam and are therefore Islamophobes if you take a person such as David Wood for example okay you can call him an Islam this guy has done plenty of research, is misguided nevertheless, but hey, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He looked into Islam at least, and therefore now he thinks he's making an educated decision. However, those people to call them Islamophobes would be already giving them too much credit. Those are people that have issues with a certain demographic of foreigners. That's it. Okay, that across German society, Muslims are perceived by non-Muslims as, quote, lacking the ability to integrate and having a tendency to consciously distance themselves sure. and avoid contact with people of other faiths, yeah, yeah. end quote. That is correct. And the article goes on, Muslim, wearing, Muslim women who wear a headscarf <laughs> report that they are often the target of public hostility. Now, I'm going to pause this here. Because uh, I had a friend of mine, I won't say who it is, but I have permission to quote him, by the way. Um, he, he, um, he lives in England. He, he's a, a British citizen. And um, he, he went on holiday to Berlin with his wife. Berlin is very multicultural. I quote to you what he said. And I, as I've mentioned, I have permission. I'm not going to reveal their identities. Uh, quote, the fact that this isn't shocking tells the story, writes my friend. When my wife and I were in Berlin on holiday, people stared at her because of her hijab. This is in Berlin. Really? There was one particularly That's shocking so incident There's when we so were visiting many Muslims the in zoo. Berlin. I've been to the zoo in uh, Berlin. It's quite, quite an amazing place. At one point, he writes, I spotted visitors staring at X, his wife, rather than looking at the animals. It looked as if they were more surprised by her looks than the animals around us. I stared Was back she at them. Hijab they did or not look to be particularly embarrassed. In the UK, we have serious issues with Islamophobia, but it is nowhere near what happens in the rest of Europe. End quote. Um, that's quite an extraordinary. Now, this is obviously one uh, man that's surprising to uh, me. testimony. Please do share. In Germany, we have a lot of hijabis. Therefore, it is surprising to me to hear this. However, if she was in a full niqab, then I could understand this. Maybe. You've been to Germany. You live in Germany, especially. I used Your to. experiences of Islamophobia, discrimination of whatever kind in the comments below. We're very interested to uh, get some more uh, input on this. I I've been to Germany about four times in the last year actually uh, to Berlin. But yet again, this is not religious. This is racial. This is cultural. This comes from hatred towards a group of people. Paul himself is a Muslim. He's a revert to Islam. I'm certain, I'm willing to bet that when Paul was in Germany, he wasn't attacked for his religion. He wasn't attacked for being a Muslim. And that's really what it boils down to. Look at it. We have Russian Muslims in Germany. We have Bosnian Muslims in Germany. And I haven't seen 
mentioned any Islamophobia against those people. Those are white Muslims, considered white Muslims. I haven't seen any animosity towards those groups. However, when it comes down to Turks, to Moroccans, North Africans in general, I've seen animosity. But yet again, it is not only religiously motivated, if at all, because Germans have no idea, no clue about Islam, but it is racial, it is cultural. It's the capital That's really what it boils Germany, down to. of course. It is quite unique and not like other places in Germany. A bit like no. New York not being representative of yeah. America, perhaps, or There's so many Paris Muslims. of France or London or the UK, maybe. Um, but nevertheless, even in Germany, uh, even in Berlin, I should say, uh, there have been serious Islamophobic incidents. So continue with the article I was reading from. Um, women uh, wearing headscarves report they're often the target of public hostility. Obviously an example of that. Uh, just now and there is widespread prejudice it says against Muslim men who are believed to have an affinity for violence extremism and patriarchal values so yeah, the, yeah. the researchers say that the again growing up in Germany I don't care for the patriarchal values here this is of course a good thing however when it comes down to violence I can only speak out of experience listen I'm not a saint myself I used to sell drugs However, the extreme violence that I witnessed within those circles always came from so-called Muslims. For example, we would get into a fight. Sure, that happens. That is normal. However, when it comes down to stabbing, to weapons, etc., etc., it always came from so-called Muslims. The brutality was simply on another level. When I would get into a fight, my Russian friends would get into a fight, it was always just a fist fight. However, when it comes down to Albanians, to Moroccans, to Turks, there were always knives involved, rackets, baseball bats, and what not the violence the brutality was simply on another level we would beat each other up those people would kill each other for minuscule reasons you wouldn't believe the aggression was just on another level and that's what i saw and this is why i myself as a foreigner in germany still associated that behavior with islam and therefore you see it here prejudice against muslim men so-called muslim men they're not even talking about the females here they're talking about the violence Violence. And this is really what it boils down to yet again. The violence itself. This is what the Germans are against. They're against those violent groups of foreigners, not against Islam, not against the elderly person that goes to the mosque. The equation of Muslim piety with fundamentalism is particularly problematic. There's even a willingness to advocate... Because we had terrorist groups in Germany as well. I have to play devil's advocate here. Restrictions on we had Muslims ISIS people. fundamental it's rights true. in the area of religious freedom and to deny them the right to equal participation. Now, Muslims in, no. in Germany, as you might know, are overwhelmingly citizens of Germany. You know, These are Germans we're talking about here. And then it goes on to talk about any foreigner I know that actually tried to go through the study system that applied for jobs became very, very successful in Germany, just as successful as Germans, if not even more successful. So I would say that Germany gives everybody equal chances. About the failure of political parties. It's a social state, man. Social welfare state. It's quite technical. Everybody has their chances. But anyway, the study looks at Germany's political parties as well. In the, uh, in the German parliament, the far-right populist alternative for Germany has a manifestly anti-Muslim program. Now, sure. this party Absolutely. recently, I, I, I read, actually won seats. This is now actually has a uh, power in Germany at the local uh, local level. Um, in the biggest opposition... And block, by the way, I even know Muslim foreigners living in Germany actually voting for AFD because they are against those violent refugees. Uh, the it's really the case. Of Christian I know foreigners Union myself that vote for AFD. And regional Bavarian Christian Social it's Union. It's not an Islamic there's issue. There's a latent hostility towards Muslims. And it can be seen in the inconsistent recognition of Islam as part of the German nation or culture, it says. Yes, that might be. I won't read any more about that. But the federal, uh, you can read about it in the article, of course, in more detail. By the way, the post-communist left party is a notable exception. It's the only party in Germany, um, apparently, which has uh, 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 doesn't have a prejudiced view. 
The Federal Interior Minister. Nancy yeah, but it's understandable. If you take the CDU, for example, this is where Angela Merkel came from. This was her party. CDU stands for Christlich Demokratische Union, which means Christian Democratic Union. So therefore, it is, of course, understandable that a Christian Democratic Union would be against Islam. Fe so Fezer, that's not surprising. Uh, Describe the report's findings as, quote, bitter. Even though they're not Christians. Uh, but she pointed you out my point. that among the approximately 5.5 million people of the Muslim faith and culture, most are German citizens, as I say. Yeah, sure. She says, Muslim life is a natural part of Germany. We want all people now it is, yeah. in our Absolutely. diverse society to have the same opportunities and rights, she says. Well, I, I hope she is as successful in that. Yeah, but I cannot take the leftist stand here. This is not accurate whatsoever. She's talking about equal choices, equal rights for everyone. Show me a constitution that has anything to say against Muslims. There is no such thing. Everybody has equal chances, equal rights. I grew up in Germany. I went to school. In my school, we had all kinds of nationalities. We had Germans, we had Poles, we had Russians, we had Turkish, we had Moroccan, we had Algerian, we had all kinds of nationalities. And guess what? Some people succeeded, other people failed. Everybody in Germany got equal chances. We cannot complain about that. That's a loser's mentality. I won't say more about that. Um, please it's do dumb. leave your comments uh, and reflections and experiences uh, below. As I said, I've only been there about four times in the last year. Germany uh, is so easy peasy, Ramadan, man. Actually, if you want to make it there, that. you can. And Honestly. the mosques in They will in give Berlin, you money for least, sitting at home. Uh, the ones that I saw were completely packed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, people were orderly, they were devout, they were fasting during Ramadan. There you go. There was much uh, goodwill and focus on the worship of God. Um, and these struck me as very law binding and good citizens of Germany. That's and the I don't point. Get the, uh, That's the idea point. Bro. That, you know, Muslim men have, quote, an affinity for violence and all that. I mean, I just didn't see any of that at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, that depends on the age as well, Paul. Now that I'm in my 30s, I don't see much of that either. However, when I was in my 20s, you are surrounded by that. Because if you look into those violent incidences, mostly it is between teenagers or people in their 20s. And 99% of the time, it is males. However, you, Paul, as a tourist at your age visiting a mosque, you won't see any of that violence. It is needless to say. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just my experience of Germany exactly. in Berlin. Yeah. Um, I'm told uh, repeatedly by people that Berlin is not like the rest of Germany, which I think I get the impression is much more conservative and perhaps more traditional nah, man. Uh, in its outlook, not at all. perhaps less <laughs> not at welcoming uh, of, super of walk, than Berlin super is, leftist. if Berlin can be called welcoming at all. No, no, it is. Um, it so is. there we Believe are. Uh, please do share your comments, and um, I'd be very interested to learn more about what's really going on in Germany. Um, the situation is difficult, clearly, uh, and is also, as is, is difficult in France, about which I know a little bit more about. Depends uh, where you are. It's not just France, it is, uh, it is a place where Muslims suffer uh, discrimination. It is also in other countries in Europe too. And uh, the UK always seems to come out better, even though not everything is rosy here by any means. Uh, it does seem that there is a, a, a significant difference in the experience of Muslims in the UK than there is in mainland Might Europe. Might be, I've never been. Um, why that is, I don't know. Maybe have a more traditional uh, tradition of tolerance and welcoming uh, people and, and you know, live and let live uh, attitude, uh, which doesn't always pan out in, Amer in, in Europe anyway. And America is a different story again, which I'm not going to go into in this video. Anyway, enough for now. Till next time. All right, guys. This is it for today's video. Berlin is mega liberal, absolutely leftist, multi culty and all of those things. So if you want to be welcomed anywhere in Germany, Berlin would be probably the place for you. It is a melting pot of all kinds of cultures. There is diversity everywhere, all kinds of sexual orientations and whatnot. So it is very, very strange for me to hear that his friend had that experience in Berlin. There are much more conservative cities in the south of Germany, for example. Nevertheless, as I said already, those articles, they are divide and conquer tactics for me. They come up with their labels, Islamophobia, this and that, but they're pointing away from the real issue here. The real issue here are foreign men that are not integrating into the system and are going against the law of Germany whilst being involved in violent acts. And growing up in Germany, I can attest to this, it is a reality amongst teenagers and men in 
their 20s. There are so many stabbings, violent takeovers, robberies, drug dealing, prostitution, you name it. And predominantly, it comes from Muslim men. Yet again, they're not true Muslims. None of them are really practicing. They're not praying whatsoever. However, they come from a Muslim background and therefore they are associated as Muslims by the Germans. You cannot blame them whatsoever because all you know is those are Muslim men. You do not know how practicing Islam looks like anyways. You simply associate that this is what a Muslim is. And this is what I did as well. What do you expect, man? I was in my early 20s and all I see is guys stabbing each other other smoking weed taking cocaine and whatnot and therefore i came to the conclusion okay muslim men are like this this is islam this is what islam teaches you take one and one together and this is your conclusion you cannot really blame the germans for that but you can blame the so-called muslim men because those people are going against islam they're the true enemies of islam if you look at them they are consuming drugs which is of course a sin they're fornicating which is of course a sin they're going against the law of the land, which is a sin as well. And moreover, they are representative of Islam. And therefore, they have such a big opportunity and such a huge responsibility on their shoulders. Those people defile the picture of Islam in the eyes of the Germans. Instead of representing Islam as something beautiful and giving indirect dawah, they are destroying the image of Islam. I left Germany 2000. 2014 and I accepted Islam 2023 just this year think about it almost 10 years of traveling the world meeting Muslims in Malaysia in Thailand seeing Islam from a different lens it took me almost 10 years of traveling in order to rewire myself recondition myself and let go of my biases that I built up in Germany being surrounded by those people but what about the Germans that are not traveling the world what about the Germans that will live in Germany and are surrounded by such scum. I have to say it the way that it is. Those so-called Muslims are the true enemies of Islam. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.